Hey everybody, it's Glenn, back in this video as 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days continue with the Doctor Who wave for the foretold mummy creature. And as I have this new in packaging, let's take a look at the packaging back to see what other Doctor Who delights are available. There's the Spin and Fly TARDIS, the Dalek Patrol Ship and Pilot, then also in Wave 4, a Cyberman with Arm Gun, the 12th Doctor in Caretaker Outfit with Backpack, and the Scovox Blitzer. So here is the foretold out of packaging. Now this scale and this line is a bit outside my usual collecting habits. Not that I'm not a Doctor Who fan, as in fact I am, and regularly watch the show. But the shrinking in scale of the Doctor Who line from 5 inch to 3 and 3 quarter inch while the price tag didn't shrink in accordance is not something I'm a fan of. But I'm doing this 31 Horror Toys marathon and realised while The Mummy is a horror genre staple, I am in fact without representation of him, so saw this in my local supermarket and was like, ooh, that's going straight in my basket. Now the foretold isn't your usual revived ancient Egyptian, he is from the episode titled Mummy on the Orient Express, which I saw a year ago now when it originally aired. He was something like a soldier that had been fitted with tech to keep him alive and... Long story cut short, he is for all intents and purposes a mummy. And that classic mummy appearance here is rendered well in the sculpt, combining a mix of taut bandages wrapping the form than those hanging loose to reveal the decaying remains inside. Now in store I've seen a Clara Oswald of this line painted so bad that one of her eyes was painted in the middle of her forehead making her look like Davros, yet here the heavy wash and haphazardness of the paint deco are in this figure's benefit, creating a look of dusty decomposition. Well, for the most part that is, as we take a closer look on his face, you can clearly see a strand of bandage between his eyes that has gone unpainted. Not sure what these darker brown pieces on the back represent. Is it the soldier's uniform? Now looking at articulation and the head rotates, plus a pleasant surprise to me is it does move some down and also up. At the shoulder, the arm does a full rotation, but that's it, then a single joint elbow which moves the lower arm to a right angle to the upper arm and then at the wrist the hand rotates. At the hips the legs swivel needlessly unless you want to pose him, I don't know, doing yoga? Single jointed knees then his feet rotate at the ankle. Certainly not the best articulation but I was expecting just the five points we've seen from Hasbro at this scale of late. But it has enough articulation to get him into an arms raised pose as he slowly stalks his next victim. So if you're a collector in this scale and want to keep your collection on its toes come Halloween then this figure represents a generic mummy you can take terrorize your Star Wars, G.I. Joe, or Marvel Universe figures with. Beyond that, it's maybe just one for the Doctor Who completists, or for a parent with a young Doctor Who fan who, for the purchase of this at your Asda, Tesco, or Sainsbury's, will keep the little one quiet enough to get through the weekly shop in peace. Anyway, click the video on the left to see the difference four years makes to both the Doctor Who toy line and my videos, or click the one on the right for my previous video, and stay tuned for much more to come in 31 Horror toys in 31 days and I hope to see you next time. Mm, bye.